What's going on YouTube? Thank you for tuning in to Kev Scooter Motor Vlogs. This here uh, video is going to start off here at Donnelly Park guys. Soon we'll jump on the scooter and take off for a little ride but currently right now at Donnelly Park in Turlock, California. I thought I'd just come over here look around and you know do the soul some good. Anyhow guys I noticed this sign right here because of the COVID I believe. It says notice do not enter area closed until further noticed. Sprinkler out of the ground. What is that? That ain't no damn sprinkler is it? Like a damn pipe bomb. What the hell is that then? I sure in the hell ain't gonna get by it. I just wanted to kick it but I've heard here in Turlock we had people that uh, are like park employees that found a flashlight pick it up to see if it worked boom it was a pipe bomb you know it's not been so recent but I'm not going to touch something that looks hella weird like that man anyhow guys here at the Donnelly Park I wanted to come by the water and just trip out on the water I seen that sign from way over there and I thought I'd come and check it out and see what it said and sure enough that's what I thought it would say I'm not even sure if this park's open. Okay, there's a somebody skating over there at the skate skate park. Pretty neat, man. Anybody's got a little scooter? Not a motorized scooter, but a scooter or a skateboard? Nice ramps over there. Nice little place to get down on your scooter or your skateboard. Volleyball poles for people to want to play volleyball, bring their own net. Something caught my eye right here. I think a gopher just came out. Yeah. Let's walk the water. My scooter's parked over that in that direction, guys. So let's go ahead and take a little walk back towards my scooter, but on the on the shoreline. <laughs> the way that lighter's in there, guys. That lighter's just upside down. That duck over there just chilling. Normally I walk the shoreline like this here and uh, see some um, turtles, carp. You'll see carps come up, show their fins and whatnot. I used to bring my dog to this park with me, let him up the leash, and he'll chase the ducks into the water, man. And this water is hella nasty, guys. Hella nasty. Look how murky that is. Like a swamp look. The ducks love to be in holes like this. That's like a little home for a duck to be back in there. You see the fishes? These are all fish. A whole bunch of them. I don't want to fall. Okay. Man, there's a whole bunch of fish right there, guys, just swimming. Damn, you can see them pretty good, can't you? Yeah, they're carp. They're all sucking at the bottom. Alright guys, man, a big old carp right there. Good lord. <laughs> I'm talking, there must be like a hundred of them right in this area. Alright. Let's see what else we could get into. That sign says public property. No swimming, no boating, no fishing. You guys gonna be nice? You're not gonna try to bite me today? Okay.
That duck's shaking its head like something bothering its head. Um, okay, it's time to do a little bit of hill climbing. Let's see. Normally on that pipe right there, and during when the sun comes out, gets it all warm, there's turtles that get on that pipe right there. Last time I made a video right here, I was standing on that cement one, looking in the water, then I guess there was a duck in the middle of that tube, or that pipe. And it came out, it scared the hell out of me. Because I was just looking out the water, then it came out right between, like, right. Just slapped the water a whole bunch, and I was like, what the hell is this? Is it an anaconda? Is it an alligator? <laughs> and then it made me laugh, because it was just a dang uh, duck that scared the hell out of me. All right, let's see. Beautiful park. I always say this, it's a beautiful park if you're not planning to come and lay on the grass. If you did come to lay on the grass, bring a blanket, a sheet or some sort that you're not really wanting to, you know, keep it in the house afterwards because it's going to have a whole bunch of duck crap on it. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, beautiful park, all sorts of ducks, but makes the grass. I don't know if you guys see this, but duck crap's everywhere, you know? On the bottom of my shoe, I gotta remind myself not to walk in the house. I gotta let the bottom of my shoes dry out, hit them together later on, before I think about bringing them in. <coughs> I'm walking around this park with my motorcycle helmet on. I didn't have my, uh, I got my GoPro uh, vest, but I wanted to put on my vest with the GoPro, you know, to be mounted in my chest. I didn't think I was going to walk way over there. I was just going to get off. My scooter's right here. I was just going to get off, come to the water and take off, but ended up walking way over there. Well, this is uh, April 22nd, I believe, of 2021, Downey Park, Turlock, California. So let's go ahead and get into a little bit of scooter riding now. I'm glad I stopped here. Something tells me my day is starting off pretty good today. All right, there she is, guys. Isn't she a beaut? Isn't she a beaut? <laughs> and the name of the scooter is hell of a long name. It's called the Boom PYT Revolution. And it's a 49cc four stroke. I got my stickers, sort of customize it with a couple stickers. I like that SF one down there. I'm gonna take off this here sticker and I'm gonna take off this here one and replace it with my new channel name, Kev Scooter Motor Vlogs, instead of what I started off with was Kevin Lopez of Turlock, California. <laughs> what made me think of coming up with the channel name like that? That's when I was new to YouTube. It says to put down your first and last name <laughs> and I was thinking man how do you make a channel name so I'm telling you guys man I, I started off basically just learn as I as I was going you know so I realized starting your uh, making your channel name you got to put it where it says your first and last name you don't put your first and last name you put it on your channel name so I wish they would do uh, redo that for people that actually learn just becoming a creator because it really doesn't explain this is where you put your channel name it just says put your personal last name and then I realized when I put my personal last name that's coming as my channel name all right hate to leave man I really don't want to leave if you guys get a notice I like this part 
but it's getting hot. I need a little bit of air now. I used to live in these apartments for a little, well actually I didn't live, I ended up staying with my ex for a little while right here, thought we were going to work out things one time, well I guess I lived there, yeah, pretty much could say I lived there a little bit, but I stayed with my ex for a while, but uh, didn't work out. We're still friends today though. Whenever you have kids with a woman, even though the relationship don't work out, that woman is always going to be in your life, man. And the way I see it, you know, I'm going to respect it because it's the mother of my kids. My son lives right here, but he's not out here. Let's see. Nope. Not out there. How about my other son? Is he up there? Nope. Got both of my boys that live here. Rough looking apartments, but their house actually looks a lot better than what the outside looks like. When I walk in their house, I'm really happy for them. It really, really looks nice in there. This is a road I don't, I uh, never want to take with my scooter going left or right. It looks cool right here but it gets real bumpy this little spot's cool but other than that real bumpy i'm gonna have to end the recording real quick and then start it again because after 12 minutes this gopro shuts off for some reason so i'll do that right now All right, welcome back, guys. GID. Let's do -si do shall we? Lean into it, guys. That's how you do the turn on the scooter. You gotta lean with it. <laughs> uh, oh man, I'm being a fool out here this morning. Not a fool, just having fun, man. Right now, what I'm doing, guys, is just nothing. Basically, just cruising around. Making up my mind which way to go as I get to the end of the beach block. Now we'll turn right, I guess. Get in the left lane. Lisa's Pet Styles. That's a dog rumor place. I was taking my dog there. But now I have the lady, uh, Rachel, come for home visit. See, I'm a, I always do my dog shower and everything, give her the showering. And she doesn't grow very long hair at all. She's a short hair dog. And the only time I take her to a groomer is to get her nails done. When they get too long and start making her feet hurt. So, uh... I've come to find out that they have home visits and they'll come and do the nails at your house. So I just went that route. Decided to uh, call Rachel, really nice girl. She comes out and does my dog's nails and I pay her and we'll make another appointment for two months down the road, you know? Try to keep it within every eight weeks. Yeah, 
guess we'll go to East Avenue. guys we come to the end of the video I'm gonna pull in this here little market Omar's uh, little market here and uh, get me uh, some milk to take home and some of those uh, Mexican ice creams just pretty much like a dollar little ice cream either I get the coconut the coconut kind of ice cream tastes good coconut milk ice cream I'll park right at the front. Right here. Got my hat, I got my mask. Yeah that flashlight keeps on breaking so I'm not going to put it up there no more normally I have this flashlight right here but within a month this here right here the weather out, outside beats this thing up pretty good and it gets real brittle and it'll continue always breaking all right thank you guys for watching until next time everybody stay safe keep continue uh, keeping healthy and uh, see you on the next one god bless everybody